Hey everyone, this is Bales. I'm at Fantasy Labs looking at player models, and I wanted to show you this new concept we have called My Groups. It's the fourth tab right here above the player models grid, and the idea is to allow you the ability to create stacks um, and other groups of players that you can use as a core in your lineups when you generate multiple lineups. And so this could be a true stack with players on the same team, it could be a game stack, or it could be just combinations of players you like together as a core. So if you go to my groups um, and you don't have any groups created, you'll see this little tutorial area. And so in different sports, there's different ways to uh, create the groups in sports that have uh, traditionally um, stacks that people build like NFL and MLB. We have a stack builder. And so you can go here and based off of your model, you can build stacks. Th these are true team stacks. So you can click, uh, I have quarterback receiver selected. So these are the top quarterback receiver combinations based on my model. Um, and if you want to use one of them, you can load it into the lineup builder. You can also um, save it. And when you save it, it'll go to this groups area. And so there you have a, um, Bortles, Allen Robinson, stack, just quarterback receiver. You can use that then in the multi lineup tool. It's right there. You can set the exposure to it. So you can set 100 or 50% or whatever. And when you generate lineups, we will get as close as we can to having Bortles, Allen Robinson in those uh, lineups as possible. The second way to build a group and the um, one that I think is probably going to be the most common um, in certain sports where you want to have a specific core that you're using in every lineup uh, might be NBA um, it could be any sport really where you are adding players to the lineup builder over here in the same way where you'd build a lineup just by locking them in so let's say um, we want to use Tyrod and Lamar Miller and um, Allen Robinson and Golden Tate. We know we want those guys um, as a core in all of our lineups or in a, a very large majority. Um, there's no correlation here, but we can still, um, we haven't built a full lineup. We can save it to my groups and that core will show up there. Now we can um, get exposure to that core of players as well. You can see all of their um, stats here. And when you go to generate multiple lineups, you'll see that. Um, that core as well. So it's just a, a way to um, group players the way that you want them and then get exposure uh, to those groups um, as much or as little as you'd like to. So those are the two fun fundamental ways to build my groups. We don't have the stacks builder for certain sports like NBA where stacking just isn't very common. Um, but either way, you can use the lineup builder to create those groups very, very quickly those cores that you would like to use in your lineups and save them right here to my groups. If you want to get rid of them, you just unlike them, they'll disappear and you can start from scratch.